Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we head to a grade five class in Chestermere, Alberta to see the Classroom Energy Diet Challenge in action. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when we're eco-friendly. Everything is awesome when we're saving energy. I'm Christina Vandenayden and I'm a grade five teacher at Prairie Waters Elementary in Chestermere, Alberta. This is Van den Einden's third year participating in the Energy Diet Challenge. Her grade fives have just finished researching alternative energy sources such as solar, wind, hydro, biomass, and uranium, and now they're sharing what they've learned about energy and its impacts. We have over half the school coming through this afternoon so that the grade fives can educate them on the different green sources of energy rather than um, coal, which we currently use in Alberta. So it's been successful? It's been a very successful event so far. You could say that. Van den Einden's grade fives have completed 18 activities, including learning about green power, carbon footprints, food miles, and always communicating what they learn at energy fairs and through presentations. Oh, they love the challenges. They like the fact that whenever we complete a challenge, we upload it for them to see in Ottawa and their families can see it, they get points for the challenges. The kids are very motivated by the prizes as well for the different challenges. Um, they're engaged and they're excited and they really take ownership of the challenges. The class even has its own Twitter account. One of the challenges is called the Phantom of the Classroom. Plugged into wall outlets and power bars everywhere are devices that are barely used but continuously draw power. Students set out to find these phantoms, catalog them, and figure out how to conserve energy. So right here we have an electric stapler. The stapler uses $65 worth of electricity a year. So what we could do to solve this problem is, instead of doing an electric stapler, we could just use a regular stapler that you just click to use our energy instead of wasting other energy. Zane and his team uncovered phantom power use in printers, computers, and even the coffee pot in the teacher's staff room. So, what to do? You unplug the stuff if you're not using them, but otherwise, if you're using a mobile phone, you can unplug that, but you can't unplug like your house phone usually. So, yeah, and you can turn off the TV when it's not using it, and you can turn off all that other stuff. Green Energy Futures even qualifies as an activity. The Grade Fives get credit for the Media Mania Challenge by getting their message out through us. Speaking of communications, the Grade Fives put on a green energy fair for half the school the day we were there. Students had displays, models, and slideshows on everything from solar, wind power, and hydro to biomass. I think it's really interesting how that you can turn wheat and crops into energy. Yeah, like, like we really wanted to figure out how you could just turn something ordinary into electricity that could power like a house, a whole house. And it's neat because it's all made from natural things. There's nothing that's man-made there. It's just all natural crops and wood chips. That was Miranda, Keelan, and Lauren. They looked at the upsides and downsides of biomass. In the end, they thought it was a good choice because you can heat your home and generate electricity using the same system. So it's it's a pretty good um, research topic to do because it's it's quite natural. Yeah, it's natural and it helps the environment by not putting like bad bad like it does take up land, but it's for a good cause. Van den Einden's class has done a deep dive and completed activities on energy impacts, the potential of green sources of energy, and waste of resources. As an example, students were shocked by how much water is used to make a hamburger. 634 gallons for a burger. They made natural cleaners and talked to their parents about using less energy. After it's all said and done, I asked Zane and his team what the best thing is that they learned save our earth and make sure be, and use our resources wisely and use renewable resources like wind and solar and geothermal and all the re reusable resources. Energy impacts and ecological footprints. Pretty advanced stuff for grade fives, isn't it? Yes! They have no trouble with it. You think it's advanced concepts, but I think if you give the information to the students, they'll do what they need to do with it and they actually take in more than we 
give them credit for. I think they're a little bit more educated than most adults out there now. Van den Einden's class is one of more than 1,200 classes around the country taking part in this program. The Energy Diet Challenge is put on by Canadian Geographic and sponsored by Shell Canada. In the interest of full disclosure, we should mention that Shell is also a sponsor of this show. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when we're eco-friendly. Everything is awesome when we're saving energy. To learn more about the Classroom Energy Diet Challenge and find the link to Miss Van den Einden's class's Twitter account, as well as our blog, photos, and a podcast, head to greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.